While the celestial dance of the sun and the moon is a fundamental aspect of our solar system, the confusion surrounding lunar visibility in daylight remains a common curiosity. The moon, being the Earth's only natural satellite, orbits our planet in synchronous rotation, meaning it always shows the same face to Earth. This phenomenon occurs because the time it takes for the moon to complete one orbit around Earth is the same as the time it takes to complete one rotation on its axis. As a result, one hemisphere of the moon is perpetually hidden from our view, giving rise to the familiar concept of the dark side of the moon. Now, why is the moon visible during the daytime? The answer lies in the interplay of sunlight and our atmosphere. The sun illuminates the moon, casting its radiant glow upon the lunar surface. When the moon is positioned on the side of the earth facing the sun, we witness a full moon. Conversely, during a new moon, the side facing the sun is in shadow, making the moon seemingly disappear from our view. The critical factor enabling daytime lunar visibility is Earth's atmosphere. Unlike the vacuum of space, our planet's atmosphere scatters sunlight in various directions. This scattering effect is more pronounced for shorter wavelengths of light, such as blue and violet, creating the blue hues we observe in the sky. However, the longer wavelengths, like red and yellow, are scattered less, allowing the sun to cast its warm glow upon us. When the moon is visible in the daytime, it's because sunlight is reaching and reflecting off its surface, even though the sun is on the opposite side of the sky. The atmosphere acts as a celestial canvas, scattering and redirecting sunlight, making the moon visible to us despite the sun's dominant presence. The most widely accepted hypothesis today holds that the moon was once a part of Earth. Evidence has been discovered by scientists that suggests a massive space object roughly the size of Mars collided with the side of our planet some 4.5 billion years ago. Tons of debris are believed to have been thrown into space by the collision, where they gradually gathered to create a sizable, dusty ball. Additionally, because the space ball was still very close to Earth, it was finally drawn into the orbit that we now take for granted due to gravity. So the next time you see that enormous, hefty rock scuttling across the sky, Consider the origin of the moon by taking a closer look at the Earth beneath your feet. The confusion arises from a common misconception that the moon is only visible at night. In reality, the moon is visible for the majority of its orbit around Earth, both day and night. The key lies in the moon's phase and its position relative to the sun and Earth. When the moon is behind the Earth, it usually moves at an angle that lets sunlight reach it. However, it passes behind the Earth at a specific angle a few times a year, blocking off all light. This phenomenon is known as a lunar eclipse. The moon appears to travel across the sky in addition to changing shape through an optical illusion. The Earth's rotation mostly causes the moon's daily journeys across the sky, much as how the sun appears to rise and set. Another factor contributing to the bewilderment is the perception that the moon is absent during the day. Our natural satellite is often present in the sky, patiently awaiting our acknowledgement. Whether it's a faint crescent or a bold gibbous, the moon frequently shares the stage with the sun, creating a captivating celestial spectacle. Another myth is that the moon rises when the sun rises and sets when the sun sets. This only occurs at the full moon, when the moon is exactly opposite the sun or 180 degrees away throughout a lunar month. It is also the time of the moon's apparent maximum brightness. Obviously, the distinction between day and night has nothing to do with the moon. The Earth revolves around both its own axis and the sun. This indicates that approximately half of the planet is exposed to direct sunlight during a specific portion of a 24-hour day. The exact tilt of the Earth determines the duration of daylight. Since the sun's beams cannot reach the remaining portion of the planet, which is facing away from it, darkness reigns there. In conclusion, 
the daytime visibility of the moon is a testament to the intricate interplay of cosmic forces. As astronomers, our mission is not only to understand these celestial phenomena, but also to unravel the mysteries that captivate the minds of those who gaze skyward. So, the next time you catch a glimpse of the moon in the daytime sky, know that it's not a cosmic anomaly, but a beautiful dance orchestrated by the gravitational forces that bind our celestial companions. <laughs>